Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. The channel contains hundreds of different videos catering from beginners right through to the more advanced tires and covering flies and patterns from all around the world. If you like what you see, stick around until the end of the video where generally you'll find the pattern description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the show. Hi there guys, uh, so tonight I'm going to tie a, I suppose it, it's kind of like a sun ray, it's maybe not just as long, but uh, it's in the Willy Gun themed colours. So I guess you could call it a gun ray, a Willy Gun ray. And there's a gold bodied version of it. So I'm using my uh, thick bar here for the, for the tube holder. Um, I have marks on this here at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Uh, so we can tie a fly to a given length each time. So the bar goes to the front of my tube. This is just a straight uh, piece of 3.2 clear plastic uh, outer tubing here. So what we're going to do is use black tie and thread for this one. So I'm going to use this uh, Vivas 80 black here. I'm going to start at the front and then hold up my tie and thread and come back in the loosish wraps here uh, and leave enough at the back for our hook holding purposes. So simple fly, uh, not a lot of components to it. Body, I'm just going to use a gold braid here. I'm going to tie that in and then I'm just going to take my super glue and put a little run along the tube. Take my tie and thread off to the front. I like to sort of kick the thing off slightly to the side when I'm wrapping and then I'm wrapping my braid into that. Therefore, there's no need to rivet or anything. It's going to adhere itself down. The one thing I would say is you can't have it wet. There can't be any wetness in your, your braid, whether you've got it on it from your bench or spit or anything like that there, because it will react with the glue and then discolor the thing. So we tie that off at the front. So the wing of Willy Guns tends to be a yellow, orange, black. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three stepped wings. Uh, so the first one, I'm going to use a little bit of a yellow dyed uh, polar bear. So it's nice and glassy, shiny. It's got this very distinct uh, guard hair and then the under fur and it's stiff. So it sort of kicks the thing up a bit. So I'm just going to trim this end of that flat. Set it up so that it's level with the back of the lip of my tube. Spread it slightly out across. And then I'm tying in the one spot. Um, splaying it out slightly. And I'm leaving this little kick at the front. So, next portion, then we're going to put in a bit of flash. And a simple gold crystal hair is what I'm going to use here. So I'll put in a piece that's the length of this underwing. Tie one, turn across it and fold it back and tie over it. And then trim that one off. So now we have two strands that are just about the length of our underwing. Next then I'm going to use a bit of orange fox. So I'm taking a bunch of that and then I'm going to hold it by its tips and pull out the majority of the underfur. So it's only the very longest of the underfur is going to be left in. Less bulky, less chance of it uh, tangling. So what I'm going to do is, as I said, I have this measured out. That's 50, that's 60. I'm tying a 60 mil fly here. So I'm going to take this out to about 40 to 50 mil. Once I've measured it then by hand, I will, same again, trim it off. Set that up on top to the same level as the yellow and put a turn or two across it just to hold it in place. So you can see we have the step 
level so it's kind of throwing it up a little bit like a temple dog as well but to finish the fly then uh, we're going to go out with black uh, fox here so but you'll need a good quality black fox if you're going to use fox otherwise maybe use goat or something so same thing again I'm going to cut that off and then pull out the shortest of the under fur, measure it up for length, hold it and trim it. So I'm going to hold this in this hand and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this uh, my super glue again and what I found is that this Loctite XXL, it's a 20 gram pot, uh, is actually really good for precision. So I'm just going to set that up to the end there and allow a tiny little blab of it just to go into those tag ends set this up to the same length and tie it on top and then while it's wet I'm binding it into it and that'll hold all in place because the super glue then will bind down through the yellow the orange and up into the black and there's no way that's coming apart so now I'm just going to take my brush I'm going to brush this out of it that blends the whole thing together, gives me that sort of teardrop type shape. And to finish it off, I'm going to put uh, a few peacock curls on top. I'm going to take maybe half a dozen or so from an eye, as it has that sort of fine as to it on the uh, curve. And I'm going to set it up that it's slightly shorter than the overall wing length. Just set them up on top. Tie it down, tie forward, and then they should just rip off if I pull them back. You obviously have to have the thing tied in tightly, otherwise that will uh, fall apart on you or pull them through. Sorry about the squeaky bobbin. And then I'm just going to finish that off. So, I'm going to varnish the head now. So, just uh, to make it nice and neat, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flash the head with a lighter. That takes away any little uh, burrs or any little bits of fur that's sticking out. And then I'm going to varnish it with black. So, I have made up my own black with uh, vineyards, black varnish mixed with. Uh, Sally Hansen. So what I'll do is I will release this which allows me to spin my dial here or pin or whatever you want to call it. I'll set the thing on and I just twist the fly then while keeping the brush in contact with it and then I go back the other way. And this is a slightly, as I said, a slightly thick sort of a varnish that I've created so therefore it creates a nice head in one go once this dries I will do it with uh, with a clear Sally Hansen again just to finish it but that is our golden Willie Gunray So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, tell your friends about the channel and if you want to watch some more of my content then check out some of the uh, links that are appearing in your screens at the minute. As per usual I hope you enjoyed the video so until next time tight lines and thanks for watching.